from paid verifications to degraded performance. Rumor has it that there are new cracks in Elon Musk's Twitter. Apparently, there were some serious software outages at his company. To add to the chaos, he also attempted another dubious transparency effort, which left his employees feeling more distressed than usual. Those poor guys just couldn't catch a break. Twitter employees got a tech version of a snow day. Apparently, the company's Slack instance went down for some routine maintenance, and as a result, they were put under a deployment freeze. That sounds like a fancy way of saying, hey guys, take the day off and enjoy the unexpected break. And to add to Twitter's woes, Jira, the tool they used to track pretty much everything, from feature updates to regulatory compliance, also decided to take a day off. So with no way to communicate and nothing to ship, most of the engineers decided to take the day off too. Can't blame them. It's not like they could do much anyway. Well, it turns out that Jira access was finally restored the very next day, because it was actually down. As for Slack, well, the case was a little different there. So here's the kicker. Slack wasn't actually down for routine maintenance like they claim. According to a current Slack employee, there's no such thing as routine maintenance. That's BS. Uh-oh, it looks like someone's caught the company in a fib. It seems that Twitter's Slack drama has more to it than just an unpaid bill. Apparently, someone at Twitter manually shut off access to the app, which is pretty shady if you ask me. Maybe Elon Musk had something to do with it. Who knows? After all, his company Tesla uses a Slack competitor called Mattermost for their own collaboration, and they rely on Microsoft Outlook and Teams for email and meetings. Perhaps Musk wants to see if Twitter can function without Slack and the associated expenses. Speaking of off days, the employees had mixed reactions. So the employees took over Blind, which is an anonymous workplace chat app. They were talking about how they couldn't believe it when they heard that Twitter's critical tools had gone missing. Some were totally frustrated by the situation, while others were a little bit pleased to see the company struggle. Either way, it looks like the disappearance of these tools caused quite a stir. One Twitter employee on Blind wrote, We didn't even pay our Slack bill, and now everyone is barely working. Penny wise, pound foolish. Ouch. Talk about a lack of foresight. Another worker called the disappearance of Slack the proverbial final straw. It seems like Twitter is really pushing its luck with its employees lately. Interestingly enough, one employee wrote that it was actually the deactivation of Slack that finally pushed them to start applying to get off of Twitter. It looks like this might have been the straw that broke the camel's back for more than just one worker. But why'd their work stop if Slack is just a communication app? It turns out it's more than just that. It's also a treasure trove of institutional memory with valuable documents that workers have come to rely on more and more since Elon Musk took over and purged thousands of employees. Losing access to Slack would be a major blow to the company's knowledge sharing and collaboration efforts. According to an employee who managed to stay on past the first round of layoffs, everyone was gone. I had no one to ask questions when stuck. I used to search for error messages on Slack and got help 99% of the time. Losing access to this valuable source of information would leave remaining employees feeling stranded and unable to get the support they need to keep the company moving forward. It seems that Slack was down at the company for at least two days. While some employees resorted to communicating over email, others basically took a second day off. Can you blame them? If you can't chat with your colleagues, there's not much you can do to be productive. The app being down was already frustrating for Twitter employees, but they had more reasons to be frustrated than just the loss of Slack. With a new project underway, employees felt completely cut off from their primary communication infrastructure. Losing access to the primary communication infrastructure is never a good thing for any company. But for Twitter employees working on Elon Musk's latest big idea of open sourcing the algorithm that ranks tweets in the timeline, it's likely to be even more stressful. Musk announced in his usual fashion of replying to a random account, Twitter plans to open source its algorithm next week. He wrote, prepare to be disappointed at first when our algorithm is made open source next week, but it will improve rapidly. We don't know if they'll actually hit that deadline for open sourcing their algorithm, because Musk's got a habit of announcing new things that are supposedly coming next week. But often, those deadlines pass and nothing ever materializes. Uh, uh, spending on it increased a huge amount. So this is something that they're going to continue to focus on as the future of the company. Twitter, we don't know what's going on. You know, Elon Musk is haggling with Stephen King uh, to talk about what, you know, they should charge for the check marks 
to be verified. So there's still so much up in the air and it feels like this is a moment. Remember the feature that would tell you if you were shadow banned or improvements to the search function or the content moderation council or letting creators charge for video. Who knows what the future holds, but it's always best to take Musk's promises with a grain of salt. Speaking of new features, Musk has also been working on improving Twitter's performance, which is an ongoing project of his. He claimed to have made progress towards this goal at the end of last year, tweeting on December 28th that significant backend server architecture changes had been rolled out and that Twitter should feel faster as a result. Bots are automated computer programs that sometimes pose as real people, and they exist on a variety of social media platforms. On Twitter, those fake accounts will often tweet, like, or retweet posts. Twitter has spent years trying to combat bots after being criticized for not doing enough to curb harassment and manipulation on its platform. However, whether or not Twitter actually feels faster is up for debate, as many users still experience lag and other issues when using the platform. In fact, Twitter's performance has actually been slowly deteriorating since the shutdown of its Sacramento data center in December 2022, according to publicly available data. Single Pane, a startup that measures latency issues using external signals has been monitoring the degradation in Twitter's quality of service. Despite Musk's claims of back-end server architecture changes improving Twitter's speed, it seems that the platform is still struggling to maintain its performance. Single Pane's data suggests that Twitter's degradation in the quality of service has resulted in increased latency during peak usage times. For instance, latency spikes were observed during the halftime show of the Super Bowl and in the aftermath of the recent earthquake in Turkey. This is in contrast to Musk's claim at the end of last year, that Twitter's back-end architecture changes had improved the service's speed. So, some Twitter insiders were asked about their experiences, and they were like, yep, that checks out. But get this, even just a regular user flipping their account to private can slow down the whole dang platform. Twitter has to comb through every tweet that users have ever made and mark them private one by one. That's a lot of work for the little birdies running the show. I mean, it may not be that big of a problem for an indie account to go private, but when Musk decided to do it, dear lord, it was a really heavy lift for the platform. Single Pane's data proves that Twitter was struggling with some serious latency issues during that time. Apparently, Elon was trying to figure out why his tweets weren't getting as much love as usual, but he found a different solution for that just a few days later. Maybe he should stick to building rockets and leave the Twitter troubleshooting to the experts. They were let go today, finding out by email that they no longer have a job. Less Trent on the bewilderment amongst Twitter Twitter workers and what it all means for Twitter itself. Apparently, parts of Asia had to go without tweeting for about 20 minutes because of an outage. I wonder who decided to make their account private that day. Can you imagine 20 whole minutes without checking your feed or sharing your thoughts with the world? Well, it is what it is, I guess. And that's all I had to say about Twitter and its never-ending woes.